Welcome back to the White Stoner channel here on YouTube. I'm going to be doing the 2006 WWE pay-per-views. So when I talk about the matches, um, when I show you the back of the DVD, I'm going to bring the camera down through it. So if you want to at all pause through the video and read the uh, match listing on the back, go ahead and do so. So let's get into this. New Year's Revolution. The, the Elimination Chamber. 10 tons of steel. 2 miles of chain. 1 man last standing. That last man standing would technically be Edge. Um, he would cash in on John Cena. Who just went through brutal hell in the Elimination Chamber. The spine is cool. So, here is your match listing. Ric Flair vs. Edge, Big Show vs. Triple H, Mickey James vs. Trish Stratus. Next we have my second favorite Royal Rumble, with the McMahons on the cover. They're a goofy family. So, of course, they're going to be making a cover somewhat cool. Kurt Angle vs. Mark Henry, Edge vs. John Cena, JBL vs. The Boogeyman, and then Ashley vs. Mickey James with Trish Stratus as special guest referee. Next, we have No Way Out, uh, Undertaker, and Kurt Angle on a fantastic cover. I wish Undertaker won, so he would be a champion going into WrestleMania. That would have been cool. Ray, Ray Mysterio versus Ray Jordan for Ray Mysterio's uh, opportunity at WrestleMania. Chris Benoit versus Booker T. Bobby Lashley vs. JBL, Matt Hardy vs. Tatanka, Matt Hardy and Tatanka vs. Eminem. The discard was really cool. If I seem like I'm going fast, I kind of am. Because my phone wants to split this up in two parts for some reason. <laughs> Next we have my third... <clears throat> Excuse me. Third favorite WrestleMania of all time. The logo's fantastic. Um, Edge versus McFoley in a great hardcore match. Undertaker versus Mark Henry in a fantastic casket match. Triple H versus John Cena. I wanted Triple H to win. Kurt Angle, Ray Randy Orton, and Rey Mysterio for the world title. That was a great match. I wanted it to go a little longer than what it did. And then my favorite match of the night was Shawn Michaels versus Miss McMahon in the um, No Holds Barred match. And then we have some shots down here. The uh, Mickey James and Trish Stratus actually had a good length of a match. I was really... Surprised by that because norm back in the day We didn't see um, the women have good matches like we do now So I was surprised that they had that their match was lengthy like it was and I was really happy that it was too Next we have backlash uh, John Cena vs Triple H vs Edge for the WWE Championship the McMahons vs Shawn Michaels and God. That's right. I said God. We have RVD versus Shelton Benjamin for the Money in the Bank versus Intercontinental title winner takes all. Carlito versus Chris Masters. Ric Flair versus Umaga. And then Mickey James versus Trish Stratus.
Next we have Judgment Day. United States Champion vs. World Champion Rey Mysterio. And then Great Khali vs. Undertaker. Now everything just wants to fall. I don't think I'm... Is it trying to focus? Bobby Lashley vs. Booker T for the King of the Ring. All hail... King Booker. Fuck that. We all know Bobby Lashley should have been King of the Ring. Kurt Angle vs. Mark Henry. Chris Benoit vs. Finley. Eminem vs. Brian Kendrick and Paul London. Next we have ECW One Night Stand. RVD vs. John Cena. RVD cashed in on Monday Night Raw to get his opportunity here. Rey Mysterio vs. Sabu was my favorite match of the night. It was so priceless. This would come with the first ever ECW pay-per-view, Barely Legal. I don't know too much about ECW, but I'm going to try and get more ECW pay-per-views. That would be cool. Vengeance DX took over here with spray painting the cover. This one would come with a bonus disc for some reason. So this had Imposter Kane vs. Kane. And Imposter Kane was um, Luke Gowles is what I heard. Next, we have the Great American Bash. Batista would return to face Mr. Kennedy. Rey Mysterio would defend against Booker T. And then Undertaker versus Big Show, which was supposed to be Great Cully. Next, we have SummerSlam, DX vs. McMahons, John Cena vs. Edge, and then Batista vs. King Booker. This one had my favorite SummerSlam match, the Big Show vs. Sabu, and a great uh, ECW title match. Next, we have No Mercy. Uh, King Booker versus Batista, Bobby Lashley, and, and Finley. I was really glad that they gave Bobby Lashley a chance at the world title. I just wish that he, they let him win it. MVP would make his debut here. Next is Unforgiven. This would be in Canada, and John Cena would win the WWE Championship for a third time. Next is Cyber Sunday. John Cena vs. Big Show vs. Uh, King Booker for the world title, because that's what the fans voted for. And then King Booker would retain. Next is Survivor Series. Just a beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, my favorite was DX, Team DX eliminated all of Team Rated RKO. That was priceless. Here is possibly the worst pay-per-view of 2006. 
I heard a lot of people hate this pay-per-view or don't like it. I liked the main event of it. It was the main event was cool. Not much of a match listing on the back, which is terrible. But there's the insert in the disc. And then last, Armageddon. Uh, Kane versus MVP in an Inferno match. And then Undertaker versus Mr. Kennedy in a last riding match. This extra had um, the first ever Infernal match with Undertaker vs. Kane. And then Joey Mercury lose 5% vision from a ladder implant, uh, bossing his nose up. So, there you have it. There's the 2006 WWE pay-per-views. Leave a like, uh, subscribe, and tell me what your favorite pay-per-view or uh, favorite moment was from 2006 this is white stoner signing off